I was obsessed with basketball as a child. And the whole point of working hard and sacrificing was to get to that point where I could play in the dance in March Madness. And going into my senior year at Baylor, all the time and effort and investment was really paying off in a big way. And it really looked like playing in the championship was gonna happen for us. And at that point, one of my professors called me and said, Matt, you need to turn on the TV right now. Baylor University officials. The Baylor basketball scandal. The man convicted of killing his teammate, Patrick Dennehy. I found out that one of my teammates had shot and killed another one of my teammates. And found out that the coaching staff had been doing a lot of things wrong. So basically my entire team dismantled. That day really put me on a path full of pain, broken relationships, and I just threw myself completely into the party scene. And when I would wake up the next day, all my problems were right there, you know, just with a headache. And all of a sudden, I'm 30 years old, and I'm completely frustrated and lost with where my life is. I went to church on a Sunday, and then I went in and I spoke with the pastor. My plan was just to get answers and talk about how angry I was. He said, Matt, you've got to give up control. In that moment, when I surrendered my life back to God, the shame and guilt that I had went away. Giving God control of my life was the best thing I ever did and actually gave me back my life. It's funny, I used to ask God at that time, why is this happening? I don't understand. I get to look back now and I really get to see he's never failed me, even in those times where I thought he did. I'm in a good place right now because of who my trust is in.